we are finally back out on the water today guys after a long time or what it felt like a long time in reality it was only a month but I hate going that long without uploading anything I just want to let you guys know if that ever does happen um, don't uh, don't worry because normally if that does happen I'm either mixed up with uh, school or work or the weather's terrible but we finally got a break in the weather and we were out on the creek once again it has rained a lot and I've already seen footprints right here from people being down here but there's bare feet so they probably were just down here enjoying the water hopefully not looking for bottles but we're gonna be getting out of the sandbar here shortly and hopefully I can turn on the camera and find something for you guys get back to you when I do well there was a whole lot on that sandbar there was a few pieces of uh, washed up glass that had been uh, recent definitely it has rained a good bit recently. There's a, another piece right there. I don't know what that would have been. It's got nice age cracks on it. Good age, definitely old. Uh, nothing over here in the water. Hopefully I'll be able to pull out a few good bottles today. I am really hoping for that to happen. Video might be a little short today because it's going, oh, there's a ball right here. Ah, a little bit newer, newer jar. Well, hey, the people walking here, they pass that up, so hopefully that's not what they're here for. But the video might be a little short today because it's fall and going on to those uh, winter months and it gets dark here really quick. Huh. There's a deer up there for a run off. But it's getting close. The winter months, days are shorter. So I need to hurry up. It's three o'clock, it gets dark here around like six. So, video hopefully turn out to be good. I'll get back to you guys if I find anything. Just pick this up right here on the sandbar. That is an interesting looking mason uh, sealer, mason jar sealer. Never seen that before. The this glass piece right here looks to be uh, clear. A little, a little bit of white purple, or white purple, with a little bit of purple in it from the sun. And then the actual part of the jar is aqua, so I've never seen that before. It's kind of weird. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff out of here. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Like a lead or zinc seal right here, and then in that would have been that glass piece. Uh, it looks like it would just thread it on there. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before. It's the first interesting find of the day. Definitely was not here last time. That's a nice piece right there too. There's another piece right there too. Oh, that would have been a mason mason jar with a patent date on it of like 1850-something or 1840-something. Well, I'll turn the camera on if I see anything else looking pretty promising. There's another piece right there. Just make a pile right there, come back and get it. I will get back to you when I find something else. Well, as I'm making our way down here, uh, the bridge that they put in is already 
usable and they're starting to tear down the old one shame it's a pretty cool old bridge for sure it's been here for a long time long time it's probably oh man at least 60 plus years old i'd say could be even way more than that I even got it up on uh, jacks over there or not yet actually they're about to probably gonna raise it up and dismantle it piece by piece pretty cool sad to see that old bridge go but it's getting old and corroded there's rust everywhere and you can see the bars are starting to fall off support bars but with that out of the way coming down here at this point so far I can already tell you that it has rained way more than I thought it has because this big pile right here was not there when I last came down here from what I remember don't remember that big pile of uh, leaves there Definitely had more water than I thought. Is that a, oh man, I thought that leaf for a second there was an arrowhead. Is that machine made? Yeah, sure, sure it is. Definitely a few pieces right there. I'm really kind of letting the camera roll and just, I'm not really stopping a whole lot up here because this is where mostly all the modern stuff is with only like an hour and a half at most of daylight left I'm really trying to hurry up I wonder if that was a bell probably a little bit too heavy yeah there's a few pieces here a Budweiser can over there that's what we need modern yeah just really kind of skimming through this part up here most of the stuff you find up here is just your usual uh, stuff like this slicks machine made you might get a common embossed bed or extract every now and then I love walking the creeks during the fall. It's actually pretty nice. It's just really peaceful out here. And the leaves are changing colors in the tree. And towards the winter, what's nice about it. The only thing that's really nice about creek walking in the winter is it's pretty much a guaranteed the water will be clear every time is of the snow it's just the fresh snow melts into the creek and it just keeps the the water really clear instead if it rained it would turn up the bottom more and create more dirt and silt thus making it not really clear water so oh wow there's sandbars been revealed up there in the middle I'll flip the camera back on if I spot anything cool up here. I'll get back to you. Well, it's been a little slower than I thought. Got down to here, I'm walking this way. I figured I would have found uh, a few things over there, but not much. There's uh, the most intact bottle that we have found so far. That's an older beer for sure. No one bought some. Besides some mold numbers on the bottom. Sucks. Oh, man. I was really figuring I would find some stuff over there. I might, might have missed it. Might see it on the way back up. But so far our pockets are empty right now. Kind of sucks but then again i'm glad i'm out here making a video 
and enjoying this peaceful weather. Hopefully there's some stuff over here on the sandbar. I'll just let the camera roll. There's some junk here. Some scrap metal. Etc. Jar right there. I know it's junk. I can already tell from the top of it. Nice plate. And probably a piece of that beer. Mason jar. I think. I don't know what that would have been. Probably a certain brand of mason jar. There's so many different brands out there and names that were embossed on them back then. Not really seeing a whole lot on this side. You can definitely tell an indention or I don't know if you can really make that out on camera definitely an indention the sandbar goes like this right here next to this tree so water has definitely been hitting here not crazy amount but somewhat to rise the sandbar up because of the uh, trees right there it's weird I don't know why it's always slow during the winter or at least the fall the fall and winter. Uh, I mean, you literally just find stuff like this. And then you'll get like a little glimpse of hope. Of a nice early bottle like that. I mean, that's got some nice aging on it. Don't know what it would have been. Definitely would have been nice to have piece of wire. I don't know. Even though it's rained a lot here recently, it's like I come down here and then I find a few good shards, and then all the whole stuff is uh, broken, or all the whole stuff is uh, junk. I'll walk the rest of the sandbar. I'll walk this bit when I come back because there's some cloudy water going through there. I normally walk that section over there when I come back up since the current's going that way. But I'll turn off the camera here for a second I'll get back to you guys if I find anything. This definitely would have been nice hole. I don't know what it was. Maybe some type of splatoon or something. or it Definitely... Broken at the bottom. Completely some type of bull or something. Really nice though. It's got really blue and white. I really like that. It's pretty cool. And I really wish I would have been whole. It's really hard to find that type of stuff in a creek hole. But I like that old crockware. If you collect this type of stuff, I think. Anybody who collects the stuff would like uh, crockware like that. Yeah, some definitely an older piece of glass for sure. And of course, the uh, embossed side's gone. And the one piece you find is the stuff that doesn't have anything embossed on it. Same thing here. That would have been a nice older beer from the looks of it. Well, definitely, definitely some uh, more promising stuff on this sandbar, without a doubt. Hopefully, next time I flip on the camera, I'll have something whole for you guys. 
Wow. That would have been a huge number 10 mason jar. That thing would have been huge. I've dug one of those with a lip chip. But hopefully we'll get down here and uh, get something nice. Oh, I got a bottle right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it up. Fingers crossed it's something good. Oh, it's screw top. Some soda bottle from probably the 80s or 90s. Toss that up there. Yep, that's where it's going. Toying with us. It's messing with us, that's for sure. If I would have had more time today, I would have went to that one creek that I've been wanting to go to. I talked to you guys about. But... It's just the weather has not been cooperating here recently. I really don't know how Adventure Archaeology and like this bigger channels like it's a guaranteed like video like every week. Every Friday. There's bigger channels they really do good on uh, consistency and stuff like that. Continuously guaranteed every every Friday or Every weekend or wherever day they upload, it's always that same day. And about the same time as well. Even though those people have, uh, don't have to go to school or anything, but they're still grown adults and have jobs and family. That's the one thing, as soon as they get out of school, hopefully... I'll be able to be free to do more stuff on my time. Because that would be amazing. There's a jug over here. It's broken. Oh, this is here last time, I believe. Yeah. Yep. I believe I threw it up there. I don't know how it ended up getting back up there. Or back down to the creek. I don't think the water got that high. There's one thing that's great about this creek is uh, I have found a lot of crocs in it for sure. I have at least like six or seven crocs or slash jugs back at home. And more than half of those have been found creeks. Which is pretty crazy. Is finding a intact, mostly all there jug in a creek is like next to impossible. Hopefully there'll be some nice stuff up here. I know I keep on saying that every time I get up to a uh, every time I get up to a sandbar, but I'm 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 hoping. This uh, sandbar usually has some good stuff. So, I'll get back to you. Well, there definitely is a few uh, things that I want to show you guys on this uh, sandbar, but first I want to check my little catch point here. Here recently, hasn't really been doing a whole lot. Normally, within the last year, there'd be bottles on the side of this wall right here. There really hasn't been a whole lot recently. But I got some down here. Probably gonna be a jar. Yep. And I guarantee it's probably the one I threw up there last time. Probably fell back down. <sighs> Hopefully that won't uh, come back down here now. Because all the time I throw the junk bottles up on the bank. Yeah, it's just. It's upsetting, it's frustrating, especially when you find whole stuff that's modern and then you take like five feet over and you find 
old stuff like this. I love these enamel buckets. They're really cool. If you really look deep into the collar of that, it almost looks like it's uh, white and green flames. It's pretty cool. Very interesting, the collars that these enamel buckets come in. They'll, they have that same pattern type design. They'll come in red and white, green and white, blue and white, and it's just really cool. I really wish that would have been whole. If that would have been whole, that would have made my day. There's a piece of something right here. I've been Terre Haute Brewing. Man, I thought bottom was intact, and it was uh, intact a little bit above the embossing. I probably would have took that home and made a drinking glass out of it. Terre Haute Brewing Co., Terre Haute, Indiana. All set up there. This piece is a nice blue pottery piece. Oh man, that water is cold. Is this a, a freaking can? Yep. What has that been? Oh no. Oh. I've never had that type of beer before. Oh, I know they still make it. Some nice pieces. Maybe I can ship them to Adventure Archaeology and have his wife make some jewelry out of them. <laughs> it's pieces, man. It just seems like what the theme is today. There are a few bottles up here. One down here in modern. There's anything around here. Nope. What is that one? I found it up here. Nice rock, mason ball jar piece. And there's like nothing over here on the side of the trees or anything. Not from what I'm saying. This is all covered up with the uh, leaves. There was one bottle over here. It was a little buried, but it wasn't nothing too special. I don't know if I had anything embossed on it. It was screw tap, or screw tap, screw top. Yeah, it looks like that's all she wrote for uh, this spot right here. Hopefully... There'll be some uh, more stuff down here. I know I keep saying that, but I uh, keep my fingers crossed. I mean, when you find old, older stuff like this, and I have obviously found good stuff in here. It's just a hit or miss with this creek sometimes. Actually, I should say all the time. Right, I'll get back to you. I'll well, find something, hopefully. Well, guys, looks like our prayers have finally been answered. I'm on the way out of here. Walking up this side that I purposely didn't walk because I was walking this side of the sand barn over on that part of the water. I always, going downstream, I walk the right part first, and then going back upstream, I walk the left side. Come over here. Got a freaking knee high sitting right here. Really can't see it. There you go. You can see it. Open its hole. Hopefully, it's somewhere different than Martinsville. That'd be nice. It's whole. It's all there. It's awesome. That is 
awesome. Yes. Yes. That is awesome. It's from Anderson. Anderson, Indiana. Wow. I was uh, definitely given what I wanted there. I found a top to one of these down there. I was like, man, I'm not really finding a whole lot. But even if I could find a whole knee high, that'd be nice. And lo and behold, on the way out, we find one. And I always find one from Martinsville. And as I just said there, I would like to find one. That's from a different town, and there we go. Never found one from Anderson. I don't know if this is rare or not. Probably not. Do some research. I don't think there's really a whole lot of rare knee highs out there. Maybe there are ones that are a little bit more scarce than others, just depending on the town. But it is a nice 20s, 30s soda bottle, and it is local. Yeah, it's got the design Pat D, March 3rd, oh, excuse me, 1925. And getting the hiccups for some reason. That's awesome. Come over here. I uh, don't know what that would have been. A door handle or something? Not a door handle, probably some decoration off of a door hinge or something like that. That's pretty cool though. Definitely be keeping that. And uh, hopefully we'll find a few more on the way out here. Get back to you if I do. Should have left the camera on. Not even, I'd say probably five feet from where the knee high was to the right. Another bottle. It's looking like a cork top. Probably slick. Some Boston sides. junk out of it. Definitely machine made. Alright, late 20s. Or 30s. Philadelphia, USA. Hey, it's a Dr. D. Janes and Son. Still got some mud in there. Was right was as machine made. Oh, yeah, it's got the Illinois glass symbol on the back. I will have three of these now from Dr. D. Janes. Started in Philadelphia, I think. Their very ever first bottle. He started a a drug company or started his own drug company or whatnot right after he got out of like medical school or something like that and it was like the 1830s or 1840s is his earliest bottle and there are some out there I have I have Dr. G or Dr. D. Jane's expectoriant from the 1840s that I bought at a bottle show for 20 bucks which is a pretty good uh, pretty good deal on that and then I have one I dug a while ago, still about a quarter full with the original medicine. That's from, I'd say, the 1890s. Uh, that's pretty neat. Pretty cool. I'll now have three of these bottles, and this is more likely labeled. I didn't even know this company was around for that long. It's pretty cool. I think there's a piece of clay in there. Looks like a turd. That's pretty nice. That's two keepers for the day so far. Definitely missed a few things on the way out, but I can't scan everything at once. You always miss miss a few things going down the creek, and you'll always see them when you come back up the creek. So get back to you if you find anything else. It seems as if this creek was wanting to keep everything away from me until I came up stream on the way back out because there's an enamel bucket right here it's cracked from what i can see all the way around so really don't have high high hopes for it to be all there it would be nice because it does look pretty big 
and it being in the water. I mean, look at that collar. Should be in good condition. Somewhat. Oh, and it's green too. Look at that. Yeah, it's definitely bent. Got the handle on it though. It's got a good collar. I've never, this is the most complete green and white one I've ever found. Normally I find the uh, blue ones. It's pretty nice. I think I might take it, just to take it, clean up this side right here, so I clean that up with my, uh, my hand real quick, uh, yeah that's just all dirt, I mean yeah the edges on the bottom are chewed up pretty good, but hey one of the handles are still there. Somewhat decent for if you want to find on either digging or out in the creek. It's pretty nice. The nicest one I ever found I dug and it was like a, a light blue, a light spotted blue and white and I ended up giving it to my mom for her flowers and I almost kind of wish I didn't do that I wish I would have kept it for myself so here recently I've been on a grind to find one of these and I'm almost half attempted just to go buy a really nice one at the antique store I mean these things in mint condition will run about 50 60 80 dollars I've seen them all the way up to 100 and past that it's just so hard to find in good condition. But that's a win in my book. I'll take it. Definitely be something nice to have. And I said earlier that I wanted a green one. I found that piece, and this is the closest I've ever gotten to it. You really don't see the green ones a whole lot. It, you normally see the blue ones. I haven't even found a piece to a red one yet. So get back to you if I find anything else. Well guys, this is the wrap up. Definitely the find of the day is going to be the Anderson, Indiana knee high. I did some research for like two minutes on Worth Point, and from what I've seen on Worth Point, only a few have sold on Worth Point before. That really doesn't necessarily mean it's really rare, but I definitely say it's scarce. Definitely. A little harder to find possibly because normally the ones I find are the ones from Martinsville in this area I've never found one from Anderson Indiana I do know of some major collectors who live in Anderson Indiana and actually collect Anderson Indiana bottles so I'm actually gonna get in contact with them and they'll probably know but besides that we got Nehi got the enamel bucket over there and we got the Nice Philadelphia Dr. D. Jane's Expectorant. It's probably what it was. Would have been a paper label. But yeah, it actually turned out to be a pretty good day, I think. From what we started, I thought we weren't going to find much. But on the way out, it uh, definitely paid off. If you guys enjoyed watching, please drop a like and a comment. And consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.